We thank God for landing us into the brand new month of July. You are welcome to Two Minutes in the Olive Garden. It is my prayer that you are blessed and secured in the arms of the Most High God as you move into the name of the Lord, which is a strong tower in the name of Jesus Christ. The text for today, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 28. In a multitude of people is a king's glory, but in the scarcity of people is a prince's ruin. No matter how rich you are financially, even if you are Dan Gote or the richest man in the world, your riches is useless without the poor or the needy. The rich is hailed because of what they are able to do for those who need the money they have. It is the poor and the needy who usually praise and cheer the rich on. No wealthy man in the world would feel important if he had no servants or no one to bow down to them, no one to ask them for money, no projects for them to fix. Without the poor in society, the rich are useless. Imagine with all your money, no church accepts your offering or donation because they don't need it. No one on TV is asking for money for some heart surgery. No orphanage is asking for support. No cobbler exists. No one to push your Rolls Royce for you if it gets stuck in the middle of the road somewhere. No motor rider to deliver items to you. No fuel attendant to serve you even your poor relatives in the village who used to rely on your financial support are all billionaires now and they don't need your help. No hawkers on the streets, not even a pure water seller. Your toilet manhole is full and there is no tanker for you to even call for them to come and service your manhole because all those people who used to drive those tankers have become billionaires. Can you imagine your kitchen sink is leaking with so many faults and the plumber or artisan to fix it is now a big man just like you. And so nobody is there to fix it for you. Everything and every service that people used to offer humbly to you because of your status is unavailable. Because all those to say bossu bossu to you and yes sir, yes sir to you have all become billionaires. And there is no one you can even send on an errand. Tell me, what will be the use of your money? So the rich needs the poor and the needy in order to remain relevant. So when God blesses you with wealth, don't insult or look down on those who have not been blessed as much as you have been blessed financially. Without them, your wealth is useless. Throughout the month of July, may the Lord hold you with his powerful hand. And one more time, I say this to you, may the name of the Lord work for you as you walk into the power of the name, which is a strong tower. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his shalom now and forevermore. Amen.